Now we have been uh, theming a little bit in our BSPWM and we see everything is orange here and the window that is not focused is going to be grey. Now we're thinking actually what we're missing here is as well a theming in the polybar. Now this, this has nothing to do with BSPWM because polybar can be run in i3, can be started in an open box and many other uh, window tiling managers. So it's a, it's separate from BSPWM, but it's a nice idea of mine. What if, <laughs> another what if in my head, what if I just try and see if we can change it so it matches a little bit this orange thing that we had in our mind. So we have here this um, information, oh. like so. A little bit smaller is maybe better for you to read for me as well. So, where are the colors? Where are the colors? Where F? Actually, we have the North theme as theme, and we have here a Gotham theme, and we have an Interceptor theme. What if I made a new theme? Well, so let's say, let's start with this one. This one is the active one. I'm gonna make myself my own team and we call it the orange team. Let's call Orangina, right? Okay, this means I'm gonna shut down this one. I say, don't read that one. Don't read this line. Don't read that line. Forget about that line and I don't wanna see this one. So, saved. Super Shift R. Polybar is reloaded, of course, no change. All right, we have, by the way, if you don't see colors in your Atom, that's because we did settings, view, install packages, themes, type in pigments and install it. Install, and so this blue button is there, and then you install it, and then you have these colors. So, I definitely need to know what color this thing is. I have the knowledge of this orange already in here, in here. And it's this number. Otherwise you g-pick it, so you Google it, you find it online on uh, websites. So this is the color I want. What if this is my background? Would that would that be too much? What if it's my foreground? Let's do that first. All right, that's maybe good. The other way around would be, oh no, would be as a background. Ooh. Not too much. Guess so. So, so let's go for option one. How about that? Okay. So the background stays the black. This one is, I don't know what kind of color, but it's, it's supposed to be more or less red, I think. So alert, volume min, volume medium, volume max can stay. What we, could do is change these icons. Supposing we don't want these icons, we need to delete stuff. If we delete stuff, we are overwriting the polybar and we can't get back to it later. So it's one thing to change some colors, but if we don't want icons, we need to delete some lines. So Let's go all drastical this time, but let's make backups first. All right. So the polybar, this is the configuration, control C, control V. It's already changed. I know I have to delete this line and add this again, then I have my original one. So now we can go ahead and change and delete stuff. Say we don't want these icons. Control find if there's something to do with the kernel. Sorry, 
wrong window. Colonel. So, Colonel, right, find three places, and here we are. So it says here format prefix. If I say forget about the format prefix, save, reload, then we have this already. And so we can keep going. And probably this now has this blue underline. And it will be as well a little bit awkward to have this blue theme still there. I think that's all the way on the top. So scroll up. Where is this blue? Okay, not here. Is it in DSPWM? There are some big chunks in there. So going, pointing to open box, open to I3, and op showing, you know, pointing to this one. And I'm checking out where this little thing is because it's been a while since I've been working on it. I was starting to use the find uh, option here and as look for the word focused. And then I find this information here available that if, where is it? At the top, model I3. So we are in I3 which we should not be, but it says label focused underline and then we have this blue line. So that's the blue line if you are an I3. So I have to continue to see where this BSPWM information is. Okay, I found my module. So module BSPWM and all these icons, you can delete them and change to something else in here. But the thing is the coloring, huh? the coloring, I don't like the coloring. If we, whoops, if we take the color, oh my God, it's gone, is it? Um, yep, it's gone, all right. So it's in here, it's in here, this one. I think this will be over the top, but I want to see anyway. So I know it's over the top. Poor. Hmm. I was rather thinking about having something white instead, white and orange together. Not FFF, but um, let's take a CC, CC, CC. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. White and orange can maybe go together. Then we can make may use some elements as well having a ccc look actually it's a little bit gray e -e 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 -e. save reload it's already loaded okay how about that so we're really figuring out every part and looking for modules module i think it's called kernel out of my head yep so this thing here has also a color and we have a color like that. Hmm. I'm thinking why not make a variable like these guys up here, colors background. So all the way on the top, we have here colors background, colors background. When I say, for instance, let's call it underline and let's give it a number. T, what EE -E we said, eh? like so. Okay, fine, like so, save. And then back to the module kernel and rather then telling things to change. Prefix is gone, so actually the color of prefix is not needed. Just being precise here. And what if we then say, go to dollar colors, I 
hope I'm typing correct. Yeah. Dot on the line, I think I called it. That's the wrong one. Yep, that's the wrong one. So this one. Color on the line. Okay. Save. And then indeed it works. This is white as well. So we need to go to. Well, let's copy paste. I need to have this one. Control C. In DSP OEM. Module. What colors was. Oh, was set here. No. Yeah. Focused on the line. That's the one, right? Okay. So uh, instead of putting everywhere EEE, I'm just gonna set, place it on one spot and then move of point to the variable on top, colors underline. So this is now white as well. And when we want to change it to orange, I just have to change one place up at the top and everything is orange and everything is white. So we keep looking for all these elements. This is gonna be volume, I suppose. Volume, and this is the color that we've chosen. And now it's gonna be this color. And then memory. Okay. Memory. Question is, do I use memory one, memory two? I really don't know, unless I go all the way up to PSPWM and see what I did. So it's going to be called memory 2, PA volume, okay, and CPU 2. PA volume is this one. Uh huh, it's going to take that. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Sorry, we did that already. Um, Mem2, was it memory2? Okay, memory2. And then the color is format on the line, I suppose. Okay, it's still there. That's that. CPU2. You see it takes time, but it's fun as well. And that's also one of our goals, to have fun, to teach you to have fun, to learn and have fun. But it's red, Eric, it's red. So it's this one, it's gotta be that one. Save, save and done. One last one, date. Date. That's indeed something like that. So that's the underlying one, save. And we've changed the elements that we are using. We could find out if this is also possible in white. I, if I remember correctly, something way back in the X window stuff. Format foreground. Colors underline. Let's see. That's better, right? Why not this one in white as well? It's all choices, you know. It's a personal design. So, if I wanted the text on the foreground, then I have to say, use this color. Mm. Why not red? Was there something not called red up there? Nope, no variable called red. There was something red in up there. So 887, let's remember the number. Oops, 887. I almost can't see where this slider is. It's that dark. Oh my God. And home, home works, no. Control home, yes, control home works. So this is red, not a nice red. Yeah, this this one I like. Control C. Well, find find, and let's see if this is nice. If we, what were we doing? 
as well as it. Here we were. Okay. Control V. Save. Nah. That's not nice at all. So I'm gonna keep. Let's see what we deleted now. Control Y. Save. That's how I like it. The way this is, I forgot to delete these icons. They can stay as well. They're not that bad. It gives us some color. On the other hand, if you do want to get rid of it, then you go to memory 2 again and get rid of those lines. This is gonna be a long tutorial. Eric, designing always is, guys. takes hours for people if you see things online you say wow that's beautiful it's never done in a GV it always takes time so don't want this anymore and the date and that's it well uh, something like that um, might work for you it's uh, like I said, all personal. And um, I guess we're done making, theming our BSPWM. It's up to you now to uh, enjoy it. All right, cheers.